So you realize by now it's hot, dry, and windy. It's the one time I understand what a hairdryer feels like. It's also only April and we hit a record high temperature today. Parts of Colorado are also lighting up a map that tracks how much the state is warming up. The impact is not vague or hard to grasp, and it's probably changing decisions about what you do on any given day. Anusha Roy starts in San Miguel County tonight. The San Miguel County manager where Telluride is said the county is being threatened. It absolutely feels like a threat. From the layer of dust evaporating their snowpack to drought and fire concerns, Mike Bordonia said the entire county is impacted. But it's been occurring at an end at an exponential rise. The East End has an economy entrenched in skiing and focused on the historic town. Definitely fear if we have continued um, droughts and lesser amounts of snowpack that that will affect that visitation. The West End relying on ranching and the agriculture industry. Seeing some of the large ranches being sold out there and although nobody's saying that that's um, why they might be trying to get out of the ranching business, um, I don't think it's a surprise that they're seeing greater challenges with um, water availability and um, in plant production. San Miguel County is a part of this NOAA map lighting up the western part of Colorado in red, marking it as a hot spot. We do know that our mountains are experiencing more significant warming, and that is due to how climate change is impacting basically the entire globe. We know that warming is more significant uh, the closer to the poles you get, so the higher in latitude and higher elevations. While the map can change depending on when the data was taken, Becky Bollinger, the assistant state climatologist, said it fits what's happening overall. We are seeing consistent warming. She says the state warmed up just over two degrees Fahrenheit over the last century. And while that change can be hard to wrap your mind around, Bollinger said we are now at the point where it is impacting our everyday lives for things as simple as going outside. The air quality is poorer. You, you can't go outside and do the things you want to do. There's a lot of implications for people who, you know, live in the city and, you know, you, you've got to go outside at some point. So San Miguel County is working to address these issues. They're asking about or they're working on everything from new bills to be as close to net zero carbon emissions as possible, working on their forest health and finding money for wildfire mitigation. And of course, a big thing, investing in public transportation. And, you know, we've talked to Denver. We've talked to a whole bunch of counties about this issue, and a lot of them have really similar programs that they're working out individually in each county, but we're starting to see it show up across the state as someone who's never worked farther than I don't know 15 minutes right. from my place of business that's got to be really impactful for someone who has quite the commute and also dealing with with this issue right okay I don't know how many times I've talked about you know the fact that we are building away further from our cities because of affordable it is not uncommon for a person to have a two hour round trip commute every day because they cannot found find housing closer to where they work. And so once again, you're thinking about the carbon emissions, how that's adding up if a bunch of people are doing that. And so again, affordable housing becoming a critical part of this. In this state, we're going to learn that transportation, CDOT eventually, now actually, deals more with this issue than ever before. It's yes. not just about driving, it's about climate as well. Exactly. Thanks, Anusha.